I'm Jakonga Wilfred, one of the technicians. Where we are working right now, we are in Cabero Junior Primary School. Mm, pardon? For that interview, Mokwe, what are you interviewing? What we are up to right now, we are constructing, at the moment we are constructing a bean pit, but uh, but uh, generally we are constructing what we call compost latrine and we are also com constructing a compost bin. We are doing all this, one is to promote health in the school, which is very important. And I think after promoting health, because children will no longer be going to defecate any howly, they'll be going to defecate in the, in the compost latrine, where we don't have now a latrine, we have a toilet. This is a very big change, because when you have a toilet, you cannot, be, you cannot get any disease out of that. And after finishing in the toilet, you collect whatever waste is in the toilet, you bring in the compost bin. And this is what these boys are now doing, and they're happy with it. Uh, we started doing this from, I can't tell exactly when we started doing it, but it's, uh, it's taking about two weeks now. In the future, we just see a community free of disease, especially intestinal worm. We are also seeing that the community is going to have very good practice in agriculture because out of the compost, after the compost manure, after the compost bin, we shall have the compost manure. Not only manure, but we think we are going to produce fertilizer, which will be very useful for our agriculture, especially growing of, uh, of uh, bananas. We have things like pineapples, we have oranges. All this, it can promote agriculture at the end. When you have a compost toilet, then from the compost toilet, there are system what you are supposed to do. In the compost toilet, there is a bucket. You go and sit on the, on the bucket. After finishing easing yourself from there, then you pick a sawdust. You pour on whatever waste you have put in the bucket. That one prevent it from stinking. There shall be no smell at all. And you finish from there, then we have another bucket in the kitchen. In the kitchen, you deposit all the waste in the kitchen, and you also do the same system. After depositing, you first have to pour sawdust in the bucket. After pouring the sawdust, you again come, you pour whatever waste is there, you cover it again, never to stink. After that, you bring it here to the compost bin. In the compost bin, and the first thing you do, you have to create what we call a biological sponge down. When you put a biological sponge down, then you have to open what we call a, vol a volcano. When you open a volcano, then you bring your whatever waste you have, either from the toilet or from the kitchen. You pour it in the volcano. When you put in the volcano, then you cover it again. After covering it again, you put another biological sponge of uh, of, of 30 feet, of, of, of one feet, that is 30 centimeter. Then you cover it, you leave it there. It will just be smart. It, there will be no smell, it will just be very okay. Mm, anything else I can add? I see a brighter future for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the for the whole process because people like it. It looks very smart, something for the first time. If not here in Zumbo, I would say in the old Uganda, it is for the first time. So I see a brighter future in this because what else do we need? If we can make use of the wasteful material to become a productive material, then there is a brighter future for the project. The team, there is a lot of cooperation among us. This is beautiful for all of us. Thank you.